Hi everybody, welcome to Magical Wands, our Activities Anytime program for this Saturday. Hopefully everybody's picked up their supplies. You should have one chopstick, one dowel, a piece of twine, you should have a bead with some tie wire on it that we will put on a chopstick, if you want to. Um, you should have two stars for your fairy wand. You should have some ribbons for your fairy wand, and a sparkly jewel, and some beads. Okay? So, today I figured we'd go ahead and start with the Harry Potter wand, because I think that's what everybody is really interested in making. So we're going to go ahead and start with these. Alright? So we're going to start off with one of the easier ones. Does everybody have a hot glue gun? Because that is going to be one of the most important things for this. Okay? Mine's been sitting here heating. I will tell you something now. I've never done these before, so let's see how it turns out, okay? All right, so for your Harry Potter wand, you only have one, but you can do lots of different things with it. If you want to, you can twist the bead onto the end. See, I twisted it on with tie wire. There should be tie wire through your bead. You can twist it on, and we're going to coat this with the hot glue gun and then paint it. So you can do it like that. Or you have a piece of twine. For your twine, you have two options. You can either start at the top and you're going to hot glue it loosely and then make it like a handle. Okay? And you will glue this all on and then you will paint it. Or you can just put it at the bottom. Okay? Or you can just take your wand and put dabs of hot glue on it, globs of it, and make it look like a different kind of one. We're going to make all four right now, okay? So, let's start out with the twine. Okay, so we're going to take our hot glue, and we're going to put, can everybody see, hopefully, and we're going to put some of the hot glue just along our top of our wand there. And hopefully use a low temperature one so it won't be so hot, so it won't hurt your fingers. Okay. And go ahead and wrap that around through your hot glue. So you got it halfway down like that. Okay. See, it's sticking to my fingers, but it's not that hot. All right. Then go ahead and load up the bottom of your handle with hot glue because this is where you're going to wrap it tight. Okay. And start wrapping it tighter, right around that hot glue. Careful with your fingers again, but this time just do it side by side. Round and round and round we go. Okay, and you should have enough. Oops, gotta get that last little bit tucked in. And there we go. We'll take pieces off, we'll let it dry, we'll trim things in. Like I said, I think I need to tuck that in a little better, tighter on the top there. So we'll put a little hot glue right on that and fold it over. Okay, be careful with your fingers, okay? So there's one. We'll let it dry. I've got things sitting over here. I've got a little trivet where I'm sitting down all my things to dry, okay? So they don't stick so bad. So there's that one, okay? If you don't want to wind it around the top, you can just do the bottom. Okay, whoops, I've got things sticking everywhere. Again, we'll load up your hot glue around the bottom. This time, start halfway up and start wrapping. Okay, whoop. Careful you don't touch the hot glue too much with the twine, because it will be hot. Keep wrapping all the way to the bottom. Then we'll have to tuck this in, put a little extra glue on there, tip that around. Hold it down with your fingernail if you can. That way you get your pads your fingers away from it. Get a little more up top here. Make sure it's glued down. Tuck
stuck some hot glue in there. that top piece in like we did that bottom piece. Use your fingernail if you've got it. Hold it down. Okay, and now we have one with just the bottom. We'll put that down to dry. Okay, we're getting a collection here. I don't know. All right, so we've done those two. Now we've got this. Okay, so your bead looks a little different than my bead. You may want to turn yours sideways. Wrap it really tight around the bead itself and then wrap it up around the edge of the wand, okay? We're going to cover all of this up with the glue, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start filling in, cover all this wire. This is where you get the globs and globs of glue. All right, I need another glue stick. Set that down for a second. Get out more glue sticks. Make sure you have plenty of glue sticks. We are going to take a lot of glue. Alright. So keep your glue guns fully loaded. Okay. These are the ones that are going to take more and more glue. We're switching sticks so it's getting a little tougher. But we're coating over all this wire so it won't get your hands. And we're filling it in so it's smooth, okay? coating and you can draw it up. You see what I'm doing? See what it looks like? So just keep layering it on, filling it in. So you may want to get your parents to do this if you're younger because it's a lot of glue and it's wearing out my hand, I will tell you that. Okay. Like I said, you want to cover up your bead a little bit because you're going to paint over it all. Okay, just keep filling it in. Kind of looks like a lollipop, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, keep going. All right. See, that's what this one looks like. Okay, we'll set it down to dry. We have to put weight on that one to hold it down that, on that side. There we go. All right, so the last one is a totally plain stick. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a glob of hot glue here, here, and here. We're going to put three edges. And of course, I need another glue stick because that's always what happens. Okay? All right, so we've got our glue stick loaded. So with this one, we're going to put, spin your, oh, lost my, go ahead and spin your chopstick around and get it all in one level. So it sticks out. Can you see it sticking out there? Okay, go about an inch or two and do it again. It will be stringy because that's just the way hot glue guns are. Okay, and see we now have two. Okay, keep going up another inch or two, keep squeezing, go round and round. Like I said, you don't have to make this one. You can make any kind you want. You don't even have to make any of the ones I'm making. 
There's a third one, and we'll do one more, okay? See, there are all kinds of ideas everywhere. If you want to watch the Harry Potter movies and see what their wands look like and see if there's any ideas or how you want to do it differently, go for it, okay? I want to see how creative you guys can get with these and what you can do with them, okay? Round and round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Okay. All right. There we go. There's those four on that wand, and we're going to let those dry so that we can paint them later. Okay. All right. Let me set these down. To dry. All right. Let's turn that a bit. So I've got them, if you can see, propped up on my trivet here, all sitting there drying. Okay, we're going to let those dry. All right, while those are drying, fairy ones. okay? So, with the fairy ones, you can do all sorts of things. You have two white stars. If you want, you can leave this unpainted, glue the star, on the top, however you want. You can put them the same way. You can put them different ways so they look like this, okay? And then add the ribbons, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got this, and we're gonna glue our stars onto the end. We're leaving it unpainted. Okay. Stick one star on that way, and then we're going to turn that way, and we're going to squeeze. Let it dry, and we've got our stars. Okay? So, then we can take and tie our ribbons on if we want them. We can leave them however we want to do this. Tie on one ribbon. Slide it up. Tie on our second ribbon. You may want to glue your ribbons in place depending on how permanent you want them. You can add different ribbons if you have different ribbons at home. You know, you can paint your wand stick. You can paint your stars. And we've got a jewel. So we're going to add the jewel on this one. Okay, hang on. I'll be back in a minute and we'll paint our wands. Hi guys. Okay, we're back and I've already started painting. I put a black base coat on the ones with the knobs. See it? And I put a brown base coat so far on the one with just the wound handle. Okay. But we're going to paint the one with the marble on it together, black, and the one with the twine around the top together, brown, okay? I will tell you, it's probably going to take a couple of coats to get the base coat all on it. Because like I said, as you can see on this one, I don't know if you can really see, but see up there, see on the wood where you can see it's showing through? So you'll probably have to recoat, okay? But it's doing a pretty good job covering the glue, okay? It is messy, so make sure you don't have on good clothes, okay? So just take some craft glue, and I'm using a sponge paint, um, a sponge brush, excuse me, and just go ahead and slather it on, okay? Get it all on there. 
You are going to get it all over your fingers. Make sure you have down newspaper and you have some place to rest. The wand to put it to dry. I know, I'm going to balance it like this and keep going around. Oh, I need a little more paint. I just have the little crack paint. Let's set that down while I pour out more paint. And hold it up and just keep painting. You can paint however much and however little you want. You can leave the bead exposed so it shines through like that. coating it. Okay, my fingers are thoroughly coated at this point, but how does it look, huh? I think it looks pretty good. See the bead shining through at the bottom? Okay, we'll get a little more on the glue right here. And we'll set it down and we'll let it dry. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I'll rinse my hands off of these. Alright. I'm back. Okay. So I don't want to get the black all over the brown. So now I'm going to take this one. I'm going to do the same thing. Um, with the twine, it, well, let's put out more glue first. With the twine, it does absorb a lot. The twine sucks it up. So careful. And then just dab it on. Okay, make sure you get it everywhere. You can choose whatever colors you want. You can make a hot pink one for all I care. I was just going with traditional like black brown, you know, and once they're thoroughly dry, you can go back over them, coat them again to make sure they're thoroughly painted. And then you can go through and if you have some silver or some gold, you can dry brush it on in certain points to highlight like I might go back and put some silver or green even on the top winding part there to make it stand out a little more. You may want to go back and clean up any um, glue strings that are sticking out that look kind of funky. I know, but yes, it will get your hands all dirty. But that's okay. That's part of crafts and that's part of the fun. Okay, oops, see, I missed a big chunk right there at the top. So let me get it. And I have my glasses on too, that's not good. Okay, and then we're going to let them dry, and then we're going to highlight. Okay, so we'll set that there to dry. All right, in the meantime, I've been playing with the beads. I have two cats that are fighting in this house, so just ignore them. And I made these for these. I have the beads on the top. You can tie them to your ribbons for your fairy things. And I was going to put those on there. Oh, see, I've got blue things there. And it'll be all painted together and put together. Have fun. Get creative. Let me see those wands when you're done. Thanks, guys.